Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Trying to do a very quick face because Bay and I are about to go out to eat. We're going to Budokan, one of my favorite Asian restaurants in New York City. And I don't want to be late. But I wanted to do a get ready with me and I wanted to talk about toxic traits. I posted in my Instagram uh, stories. I was like, what are you guys toxic traits? Like we all have them. Like don't say, oh, I don't have any toxic traits because that is a toxic trait. If you think you only got a toxic trait, okay? So I'm gonna share mine with you. But what I wanted to say was, y'all, first of all, I got 238 comments, like responses. And when I tell you the majority of them, two popular, popular traits, toxic traits, one was that we shop too much. Like I can identify with that 100%. Y'all shop too much and y'all cut people off at the drop of a dime. I was like, every other response was, I cut people off, I will block you, you know, walk away from you. Like we never even met, like I have no memory of you. I was like, I found my people. <laughs> so let's get into some of these toxic traits. I'm not really gonna share like what I'm doing with my makeup because I'm really doing the same thing, y'all. Nothing has changed. I already did my eyebrows, so it can be a little bit quicker because I literally have maybe like an hour to fully get ready. So let me start with my toxic traits. Like I'm gonna start with one of my toxic traits. Um, but wait, what am I doing? Let me correct first. Child, this might be a whole, listen. We gonna see if I could walk and chew gum at the same time. Okay, so. One of my toxic traits. Okay, so if you guys are in a relationship, married, whatever, do you do this? Because I'm like queen of this. I act like I don't know how to do anything. Like I'm a damsel in distress when Bay's around. When he's not around, I'm Shira, I'm uh, Hercules, I'm Catwoman, like I'm all of that. But when he's around, I'm like, ugh. I just can't do anything. So that's one. And then another one of my toxic traits is that I'll pass the kitchen. Like I have to pass the kitchen, like walk through the kitchen. Well, not walk through, but I have to pass the kitchen to get to the living room. And I will pass the kitchen, get to the living room, sit down, or I sat down, <laughs> And then as soon as Bay gets up to use the bathroom, I ask him to give me some water. Bae, can you give me some water? And he be looking at me like, didn't you just, you ain't just passed the kitchen? But that's a toxic trait. So let me share some of y'all's that wasn't shopping or cutting people off. So somebody said not wanting help and then complaining when no one helps so i guess she meant like she's trying to say like she always says she doesn't need any help so you know people are like okay good like you got this and then she gets mad and complains when they don't help her because we want you to read our minds hello like duh that's what it is like we say we don't want help but you still have to offer and say do you need help with such and such or do you need this or you know what i'm saying that's what it is so I totally feel her. Y'all, I forgot to put primer on. My primer's sitting right here looking at me. So, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray, no, I'm gonna spray my Charlotte Tilbury on my brush. And then it'll help my foundation to blend out better but I am moisturized. So yeah, yeah, you gotta be a mind reader. <laughs> no, but seriously, I feel like let's normalize. If we need help, say we need help. You know what I mean? People aren't mind readers. We can't expect them to be. And if you need help with something, just say it. 
Now, if they refuse to help, refuse to help, then, you know, maybe then you can have a problem or, you know, have an attitude or whatever. But don't have an attitude because you want somebody to read your mind. And trust me, I'm I'm speaking to you, but I'm speaking to me too, y'all. Because half of y'all toxic traits is mine as well. The algorithm has definitely put this community together. We have so much in common. So that was one toxic trait. Let's get to another one. Oh, cutting people off with no memory of knowing them. Talked about that in the beginning. Like, that was the majority of y'all's toxic traits. And I'm like, damn. But I get it. Because it's like, for me, y'all, like, I'm not confrontational. So if if something happens between a friend and I or whatever, like, if you're a real friend and we have, like, you know, real history or just a real connection, then I'll probably want to address something. But if we're associates and you, you know, you show me your hand and I see who you are, ain't nothing to talk about. You know how they say no news is good news? No conversation says a whole lot. <laughs> no conversation says a whole lot. Like I don't have to have closure or anything like that. And y'all feel the same way too. I was like, wow, this is like, this is my people right here. Like what? Um, Somebody said their toxic trait is holding grudges. Now that... I'm not doing that because that's bad for your health. Like, screw the person that you're holding the grudge against. Like, that's bad for your health. So I'm doing concealer now, y'all. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And I mix two colors. So this is 35. And then I have 35.5. This concealer right here, she is thick. Like, super thick. I love it. Full coverage. The face looks beat and flawless. Love it. And they have like a gazillion colors. Literally like so many colors. Um, yeah, so holding grudges. You don't want that to be on like your... Because I feel like holding a grudge, it takes a lot of energy. You know what I mean? And you don't want to waste that energy on... A grudge for somebody who's probably like going on with their lives or you know whatever just you know know that that person shouldn't be in your life and then you keep it pushing but don't hold that grudge don't make it you know stress you out or not even stress you out but it just takes so much energy to hold a grudge i feel you don't never have to talk to that person again you don't ever have to deal with them again like ever you know what i mean but you know, wish them well. God bless you. And that's just what it is. You keep it pushing. Because you don't want holding a grudge to block your blessings. You know what I mean? You can forgive. Obviously, you're not going to forget. And just because you forgive, it doesn't mean that you're going to... Like, you don't have to forgive somebody and be in their life. Like, you could forgive them for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You keep it pushing and y'all go y'all separate ways and that's just that. But to hold on to the grudge, like holding that into your space and into your mind and your spirit, like, mm -mm, get out of here. Like you and whatever you did to me, you know what I mean? Like be gone. Like I don't have any space for you around these parts at all. So that I say, and that's, you're going to do that for yourself. Like you're not doing that for them. Like screw them. You're doing that for you. You're doing that so you don't block your blessings. And also, you know, to not have any of that in your space, that energy that, you know, like just get rid of all of that. So you doing that for you. So just try not to hold any grudges. Okay, sis. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done because depending on what the person did to you, then 
you know, but you don't want to hold on to that. All right, y'all. So the next toxic trait, this one right here, like <laughs> this one was so funny to me, but I definitely can relate. And I feel like a lot of you guys, a lot of you women can relate to this as well. So she said getting mad at her husband, pretending she's going to leave just to see if he's going to chase her. That's her toxic trait. And I feel like if we don't do it now, we've all have done that before. Because you want to see how far your partner is going to go for you. If you're like, all right, screw it, I'm leaving. And they're like, I right, deuces. Can you uh, close the door behind you? <laughs> then you already know. Like, um, so you're not going to fight for me. Like, you just going to let me walk out the door like that or walk out your life. Like, so I know for sure I'm definitely guilty of that. Not anymore, but I've done that in the past. And not really saying I'm going to leave, but something similar. Like, I feel like we've all have done, we've all done something like that. But see, now that's her husband. So I don't know if she's saying I'm about to divorce you, but not really about to divorce, you know, him. But I don't know. But she said, getting mad at my husband, pretending like I'm going to leave to see if he'll chase me. Or maybe like leave the house for the day or something. <laughs> maybe not leave for good. That's how I'm taking it. So that one right there, girl, I see you and I feel you. We have all been there. People like to call them kind of relationships toxic, but I mean, listen, you do what works for you. Nothing's perfect. So let me see what the next trait is. The next toxic trait. Somebody said not following up on friendships. So I was a little confused about that one. Like not following up meaning like you met somebody like a female and y'all were supposed Y'all are, are like trying to build a connection or build a relationship as friends, but you're not following up with that. If you're watching, which I hope you're watching, um, can you elaborate on that? Because I was a little bit confused about that. The not following up on friendships. And did you mean like friendships with a male or a female? Let's get into that. Because I took that as, like, you know how sometimes, like, you'll make plans with your friends? Because you don't, I don't know about y'all, but I don't see my friends all the time. Because life be life in, okay? And we'll make plans or we'll say, yeah, we got to go to brunch or we got to go to dinner or we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And then sometimes it just doesn't happen like are because like nobody follows up you know what i mean it's like that awkward like mm, it's raining or child i'm tired or you know whatever and nobody wants to be the one to cancel so nobody follows up so is it that like like what do you mean now for me if i make plans with somebody i'm definitely gonna follow through but if you cancel listen i'm not mad at you girl <laughs> I am not mad. You are all right with me. You are all right with me, honey. So that's what I took that as. But I mean, honestly, like we have to make time for our friendships, for our girlfriends, family, you know, whatever, because sometimes you get caught up with just life, like work, and then you're tired. You know, and then, you know, the time that you're free, you want to spend with your man. Especially me. I love being with my man. Like, that's my best friend. Like, we have a great time together. But it's also good to have that female energy sometimes. That girl time. That's definitely needed. So, we have to do better. And I say we because, child... We definitely have to do better at doing that. 
I'm better in the spring and in the summer. Cause child, when it's cold outside, mm, mm, mm. I'ma come, but if you cancel, you ain't gonna get nothing out of me. Because my home is very comfortable and I do not mind being here. Okay, so the next trait, she just says she's a germaphobe. Now, I don't think that's a toxic trait. Do y'all think being a germaphobe is a toxic trait? I don't. Maybe because I'm a germaphobe as well. So I feel like, why is that toxic? That's not toxic. Now, are you an extremist? Do you walk around with gloves? And do you walk around with Lysol and, well, I walk around with Lysol, but <laughs> do you walk around spraying the Lysol every five seconds? Like, what's the extent of your germophobia? <laughs> because I don't think there's anything wrong with being a germaphobe. With all the germs and viruses and everything we have out here, listen. I'm a germaphobe and there's no shame in my game. It is what it is. Okay, so the next toxic trait, she said ghosting people. Now, hold on y'all. Now ghosting people. Is that the same thing as, like, do you have a reason for ghosting the people? Like, did they do something to you? So you just walk away from the situation or from the friendship or the relationship? Like, what do you mean ghosting people? Like, do you just, somebody is like waiting for you to call them or whatever and you just like, nah, I'm out. I don't feel like dealing with this person for no reason. Is that what you mean? Can you elaborate? The people wanna know. <laughs> Cause to me, I feel like if you mean ghosting somebody like they didn't do anything to you, you know what I mean? Like you just feel like you just don't want them in your life anymore ouch <laughs> but i mean i guess if you're ghosting them you're ghosting them for a reason right then i mean you have all right to do that yeah i hope you have a valid reason because do unto others as you would have them do unto you so if you don't want somebody just ghosting you then maybe you shouldn't ghost people unless you have a valid reason but if you don't have a valid reason, you just wake up one morning like, yeah, I don't want to talk to her or I don't want to talk to him. Then I don't know about that right there. That might be a, a toxic trait. That might be toxic. It's giving toxic. <laughs> I have to remember I'm not filming. I'm going out to eat in public and my makeup can't look like I'm about to go on film because when you record, you need more makeup. It needs to be more pronounced, you know what I mean? But to be out in these streets around people, you don't wanna look crazy. So I always have to remember like, okay, this is date night. <laughs> the makeup can't be too crazy. Cause what you could get away with on camera, definitely can't get away with in real life. You're gonna be looking crazy. I think I'm done. I just need to put my lashes on. But while I 
wait for my lashes to dry. We'll get through one more treat. All right, so shopping too much. I told y'all that was like one of the most popular ones. I mean, listen, we like nice things. We like to treat ourselves. Treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. That is not a toxic trait. Unless you are here robbing from Peter to pay Paul and stealing and doing all this other type of stuff to shop, then that's a whole other video. But I mean, I feel like we all probably have a little shopping problem. I'm definitely trying to do better though, and I have been doing better. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been doing better. The good thing is, like, for me, because I'm a fragrance enthusiast, content creator, influencer, I get fragrances sent to me, so I don't have to buy that much perfume. But before, cha, oof, I was buying perfume like. It was food. Like, I needed it to survive. Like, I need this perfume to survive. Like, and then realize, oh, I'm hungry. Girl, you ain't buying nothing to eat. Cause you buying perfume? Child. But if you're doing it in a healthy way, how is too much shopping done healthy? Listen, don't listen to me, y'all. I'm not the friend that's gonna tell you to save your money. Don't buy it. I'm gonna be like, oh, it's cute, girl. Get it. Get it and get the other color too. Like, I'm that friend. So don't show me nothing. Oh, girl, do you think I should get this belt? Or do you think I should get this shoe? Or I'm gonna be like, get it, girl. Get it, get it, get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Because, yeah. The blind can't lead the blind, okay? That's what I feel about it. Now, as long as your bills are paid and you're taking care of your responsibilities, buy it, <laughs> okay? Period. Retail therapy. I feel like I'm missing something from my face. Maybe not. Felt like I was, but okay. So the last trait that we're gonna speak about is having to have the last word. I guess that is, that is, that's toxic. I ain't gonna lie to you sis, that's toxic. Because why do you have to have the last word? Like, why? What does that do for you, for your soul, for your psyche? Like, how does that make you feel better having the last word? Because I'm going to give you the word. It might not have to be last. It ain't going to be the last word, but you're going to feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to feel that word to your soul. But um, it doesn't have to be the last word. Because I'm going to say what I say, and then I'm going to walk away. Period. Anything you say after that, you could be talking and I'm just, it's going in here and it's coming out this way. So. Because the last word doesn't mean it's the most effective. You know what I mean? Like, I want to have the most effective word. It ain't got to be last. Because the thing is, with that, it's another situation where if you don't get the last word, it's just, it's like you fighting yourself. Like, they're going to say something, and then you're going to have to say something again, and they're going to say something. And then it's like, girl, your pressure is going to be raising for no reason. Say what you got to say. Make sure it's effective and walk away. I'm going to show y'all what I'm wearing. I'm going to tell y'all what my scent of the night choices were. I'm still waiting for my eyelashes to dry, y'all. If y'all have been here for a while, 
you would have seen this blazer. It's a sequence blazer. I've only worn it one time. Very, very pricey. Alice and Olivia. I wore it not even last year. I wore it the year before last. And I never wore it again. And I'm like, I'm not a celebrity. Like, I could wear things twice. I spent my hard earned money. She gonna get worn. And I'm gonna take pictures like it ain't nothing. But I remixed it a little bit. The last time I wore it, I wore it with white jeans and some black tall boots. So today I'm gonna wear it with shiny leggings. I'm gonna show y'all. But I'm gonna wear it with um leggings. I swear this smells like cake. I'm not tripping. If y'all have this give... By Gwen Stefani lipstick. Does it smell like cake to y'all? Or am I just hungry? Um, Let me put my lashes on and then I'm going to come back and tell y'all what I'm smelling like. All right, y'all. So my face is done. I have three flexi rods in my hair and I'm just probably just gonna just do like a loose little flip over to the side, like just very loosely curled and just flip to one side since my jacket is sequenced and I don't want the hair to be like catching on to the sequence. It's so annoying. So, Yeah, so, ooh, a little Tatcha. And now I'm just ready to get dressed. But I'm gonna share my fragrance of the day with y'all or night. So the choices were, and I was leaning towards this, but the reason why I didn't do it is because I did it before. So I was gonna do Peach Please by Soap and Glory. I'm obsessed, okay? If you love peach, you will love this. It smells like peach gummy rings. Super fragrant, super thick. I'm ashy because I just washed my hands. So I'm actually gonna use some now. Oh no. I'm gonna use my, um. I'm gonna use my skin potions. So yeah, so it was gonna be Peach Please with Tabit by Tiziana Terenzi. It's coconut. It's uh, peach and fruity notes. This is so sexy. Y'all know I bought this with my own coins. I started my YouTube channel with this fragrance. This was my first ever fragrance review. And this fragrance has like a place in my heart. I love this so much. So it's a bit. I was going to layer it with Jimmy Choo's I Want You. It's the peach for me. It is the peach for me. But I did this the other day. Actually, I didn't do it with Tibet. I did it with... Um, Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. I did that combination a few times. So I'm like, you know what? Let me give the peach scent a little break. But this right here is a whole vibe, okay? A whole vibe. So if you have Peach Please, if you have Tibet by Tiziana Terenzi, if you don't have it, um, I'm trying to figure out why don't you have it. You can use my discount code and save 20%. The code is the great 20. I'll leave everything linked below, but this is super sexy. Like I said, it's fruity. It has coconut. It's like a fruity coconut, amber, vanilla. Ooh, this is everything, okay? Now I feel like I want to put you on, but I ain't going to put you on. So, yeah. But what I decided on, y'all, is equally super, super sexy. And I'm so glad I chose this. So it's going to be Kama Sutra, the body oil. Look at this, y'all. Look at my oil. I mean, <laughs> what's left of my Kama Sutra? But Ray is so kind and generous. Like, I have backups of this, y'all. So my Kama Sutra with the Kama Sutra lotion. Now, I know a lot of you guys want the... The, um, the triple butter and the triple butter is really good but I love the lotion it's thin but you can tell the oil is in here concentrated heavy super super fragrant y'all maybe a little bit more fragrant than the oil if not as fragrant you know what I mean so don't sleep on this lotion if you see the lotion get the lotion because it's just I mean Kama Sutra is just like 
This scent is just so crazy to me. So these two here, layered with Passion de l'Amour by the House of Siage. This has caramel, I think it has rose, I'm not sure, but it definitely has caramel, it has raspberry, it has oud, and you definitely smell the oud in this fragrance. I don't think this is a safe blind buy, but y'all, this fragrance right here is so super sexy. Another one that I had long before YouTube, they bought this for me for my birthday, 2020, or was it 2019? 2020 or 2019 he purchased this fragrance for me from bloomingdale's on 59th street in manhattan and i mean i've been hooked like i love these cupcakes i don't love the brand like that because y'all already know if y'all been here for a while y'all already know but i do love my cupcakes because who passion de l'amour is so sexy y'all oh so super sexy so i didn't stop there though y'all why one of my subbies was like this girl has more steps in her layering than I have friends. <laughs> Y'all, if that wasn't the funniest thing ever. And yeah, I have another step. So I'm gonna layer Passion de l'Amour by the House of Siage with Mugler's Angel Nova. It's gonna add a little tartness, a little sweetness from that raspberry. So the creamy caramel gourmand oudy scent in Passion de l'Amour layered with the bright, tart, sweet, juicy raspberry in Angel Nova. Let me tell y'all, we going to Budokan, like I told y'all in Manhattan, ain't nobody gonna be smelling better than me in Budokan, period. Okay, like I might just go far as far as to say, ain't nobody smelling better than me in Manhattan, but you know, I'ma just, I ain't gonna go that far just yet because my fragrance ain't out yet, but for sure, I'm gonna be smelling better than everybody in Budokan. Okay, period. Like this right here, like this is a vibe. All right, y'all, let me get dressed. I'll be with you in a second. All right, y'all, so I'm dressed. Probably can't see my outfit, but this is it. Let me see if I can get some photos when we get downtown. And my scent, like I told you, is Passion de l'Amour Nova. The Nova is that girl. Both of them are that girl, but the Nova just added a more bright, more sweeter like fruity sweet instead of caramel sweet listen the two is freaking immaculate is so good together so this is my scent and then i'm wearing my railroad hoop earrings so cute it literally matches my jacket like perfectly like perfect it can't be any more perfect i'm wearing my cartier watch and my black and white H bracelets, red Lady Dior, and I'm wearing these open toe shoes. It might be a little chilly, but this is the time of the year when like toes, you just gonna have to be cold a little bit. You're gonna have to be a little bit nippy because I'm tired of wearing shoes, okay? So the toes are going to be out in these Christian Louboutin red shoes, red bag, red lips, and I'm ready to go. So I'll see y'all later. You gonna tell the people why we at McDonald's? Yeah, this is what it came to. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> Listen, we tried, we tried. We tried. We, tried. <laughs> we couldn't get no parking in the streets of New York. All the parking lots is full. We was trying to make it a little late night because we ain't been out on a late night date in a minute. We need to stick our ass to brunch. <laughs> it's over. So this is where we at. Mickey D's. Mickey D's. And we luckily found a Mickey D's that was and, open. And, and we ain't even been drinking. No, you go to McDonald's on a late night when you drinking or something. Y'all. I was gonna end the vlog and and not even tell y'all, but I'm like, you know what? This is real. This is real get. life. This is real as it get right here. <laughs> this is real life. We had an 11:15 reservation at Budokan, 11:15, and all the lots in the area was packed. Saturday night in New York City, all the lots were packed. So we weren't gonna drive uptown to find an open lot 
and then take an Uber or a yellow tag. Like it wasn't that deep. So we were like, oh, we'll just come back to Jersey. Everything is closed. Like we're literally oh, at. You, you get your car towed in New York. You can't <sighs> park on the streets like that. So no parking lot. No stay. No My room. eyes are heavy because I'm sleepy and I'm hungry. What is she doing? Oh, why did she do it like that? Like she was about to do something crazy. What the hell? Weird. Yeah, y'all. And now my arm's hurting me because I'm holding this damn phone. Anyway. So I'm about to get, I don't even know what I'm getting. I can't even believe I'm at McDonald's right now. Mm. Babe, what is wrong with them? Got it? <laughs> Your order total is 159? We ain't order nothing. Somebody?